Hi scholars, this is Professor Vandermark and I'm recording uh, a summary of today's class for U.S. History 1. Today we're really going to focus on streamlining your participation and giving you some hints and suggestions for uh, the first two chapters in the Rampola textbook. On Thursday, we will focus on Eric Foner's Give Me Liberty, Chapter 1. So if you go to our Blackboard page and you take a look at the weekly folders, uh, click on weekly folder 2, we're in, we're in week 2, that's historical analysis. And the first thing you see there is a transition. Now that transition is related to Foner as well as historical analysis. I talk about the happenstance of history. That's the transition. Uh, if you've ever driven a car with a clutch, you press the clutch in before you shift gears. And that's what the transition is for. It's just this little brief moment in time for you to say, okay, now I'm going to study history. Now I'm gonna read about history. So you read my transition, uh, maybe you went over the Rampola outcomes on our resources page. You get a sense of what you're going to read about. And then you do your questions of inquiry. What do I want to better understand? What do I want to develop a deeper understanding of? That's your questions of inquiry. You know, three to five is ideal. Um, right now, while we're reading two different books, maybe one or two from each, and, and we're good to go. And then you go to your fundamental foundations. Now, a lot of you have noticed that the fundamental foundations is the same thing that's on our course schedule. And you're exactly right. What the weekly folder seeks to do is pro provide all of the information that you need right there. So it's a quick snapshot. So you've identified the things you wanna focus on in your questions of inquiry, and you posted those to the discussion board. And then you start reading. You're looking for more information about those things. You get done reading, and then you're going to write or draft your observation. Now remember, our observations can be written or audio files. Either way, it's up to you. There's a checklist in the course pack, and there's a rubric for you on the rubrics page. Uh, but either way, this is your formal analytical writing or audio file. Uh, this is the most formal writing we will do, you will do this week. After you write or record your observation, upload it to our discussion board for that week, and then you go on to your deeper dive. Now, each week we are going to have different options for the deeper dive. This week, I picked two podcasts. The first is Social Distance. Uh, this episode has not been peer reviewed. And this intersects with Rampola's discussion about sources. The second one is The Last Archive. And this is Jill Lepore taking a real crime look at a historical murder. So she's looking at a murder in Vermont and she's approaching it using primary sources as a historian. And I thought that this was really a beautiful way to show you how a historian approaches the process of discovering history. And so uh, this is these are your two options this week. You always have the option of, of doing your own research, unless I say otherwise, in the deeper dive. Uh, and that means that you can explore things on your own. You do have to share your sources when you do that. So if you decide to ex use the web and explore other things, make sure that you've told me that you've, that you've used a, uh, a work cited for the sources that you used. All right. That's my quick primer on our process about using that tracks of exploration or tracks of engagement. Um, my next video is going to be uh, focusing on chapters one and two in Rampola and the course, put, uh, course pack. All right. 
Thank you.